Hi everybody, this is Raw Matt. Today we're going to be talking about the subject of aging and why we age. Since we can't actually say that time alone is what ages us, we have to look at the different factors that play into why we're aging, why the body is getting weaker, and that aging is actually a disease. We can look back in biblical times and say if that was a literal translation, then people were living way over 900 years old, such as Methuselah and Jared and the whole list of people were living well over 900 years old. Now, um, some people that debate that say that's not a literal translation because each season was as a year, but that would still put them at over 250 years old, so that's actually not even a factor either. So uh, we can say that what does age us though is environmental problems, hazards and, and toxins, stress, pollution, uh, inflammation. We can find that genetically modified foods, uh, parasites, uh, fungus mold, yeast, bacteria, plaque. Um, there's a whole list of issues um, uh, that play into the reasons that we age. And I actually believe that because it is a disease, we can always stop it. Look at Werner's syndrome, for example. It's a disease of aging, where a child can be actually around 13 years old and die from a, a disease called aging, where their body is actually matured so quickly that they die, their, their blood is so um, thick that they actually need to thin it with aspirin. Um, they have onset diabetes. They have bone degenerative diseases. They lose all their hair. Their hair. Uh, progeria is another example of that. Now, if they can be sped up, we can obviously slow it down. Um, we have an enzyme potential in our body that we seem to run out of by the time we're 40 years old. Um, it's because we're constantly eating foods that are denatured out of their just out of their natural state. We wouldn't actually come across a pizza anywhere in nature. And by eating those degenerative foods, they um, they deplete our body of minerals, enzymes all kinds of different things. And when we eat too much, another example, we can find that caloric restriction is a great example of how we can slow the process of aging down. Because when we um, stop taking in so many different types of foods that are depleted, we don't run out of our enzyme potential, um, the digestive enzymes don't get used up, and our metabolic enzymes uh, really take hold. We can find that the metabolic enzymes in the body, like superoxide dismutase, catalase, and glutathione peroxidase, really, really um, start getting produced by a high, much higher amount. And what those metabolic enzymes do is they run every metabolic system in the body. They run, they make your muscles. Uh, flex, they allow your eyes to uh, blink, they do every reaction that takes place in the body does so because of these metabolic enzymes. And uh, like superoxide is one of the most dangerous free radicals in the body and when we take in superoxide dismutase it actually transmutes superoxide into a less damaging free radical which is hydrogen peroxide. So we're left with something much less damaging in the body and when we have those more, more metabolic enzymes in the body we, uh, we can definitely ex expand our potential for living longer just by that one factor alone, probably double the age that we're living in today. So caloric restriction is a major component of that. Um, you can check out a book that I've written. It's free online. You can find it. It's Dominant Health. Uh, it's got, it touches a little bit on aging. We also, I also have another book coming out pretty soon. It's going to be all about the disease of aging and how to overcome it with all, ki all different types of areas. Um, we can find that cellular replication and different things. Um, eventually slow down or degrade. Um, in cellular biology, we can find that cells uh, replicate on a weaker level all the time. Uh, there are some animals that they believe are completely immortal. They don't, they don't actually uh, degenerate whatsoever. Like look at a hydra, for example. People, scientists are saying that they probably have a lifespan of around 1,500 years. Well, not one has died except for in captivity, and that's when they've been experimenting on them. So I think that if we get to a point of symbiosis where the blood cells are being made in perfect um, replication every single time, we can extend our life inevitably and just die from accident, like being hit by a car or taking an axe to the head. Uh, also, genetic material plays a huge factor in. We're finding out that genetics have a role even in cancer and in other diseases that take place. Once we figure that out, we will find that... Um, it isn't time that's aging us, it's disease. Anyway, um, we'll be talking more on different subjects about this later, so until next time.